As I say, there are those who can and they do, and those who can't teach. And tonight, I want to talk about those who can. I don't have anything scripted for this. I don't know what I'm going to say. I will mention I'll take off my hat for this, for Stan Lee. I call Stan Lee, in terms that I talk about on this show, as a Fandai Grand Master. I can be a Fandai Master because I have seen it all, but he was one of the ones who could, and so he is a Fandai Grand Master for everything that he did. Now, I never knew Stan Lee. I never even saw him outside of TV or movies or documentaries. I can say absolutely nothing about him personally. I will not be giving his eulogy. But I can say a couple of things about what he did. It comes to you at a certain point. You know, I, I'm old enough now that I'm starting to see people that are close to me, my elders starting to pass away. And it's not so much that you get used to it. It's that you sort of come up with the notion that, oh, this is happening. I kind of have to expect it. And so you see your childhood heroes starting to pass away. And what strikes me with Stan Lee is most of us, myself included, are about two generations away from being completely forgotten. My children will remember me, and if I'm lucky, my grandchildren will remember me, hopefully not as some doddering old man. But once they're gone, I will be nothing more than a name on a headstone that people won't look twice at when they go through the Rose Cemetery in South Dakota. Stan Lee, on the other hand, will live for generations, if not centuries, because of what he did. Now, Stan started out as a child of Jewish immigrants at a time when that was not an easy thing to do. Most people don't know the history, but Hitler's final solution and his persecution of Jews was simply another in a very long line of Jewish discrimination and um, doing very bad things to them. Look up the English pogroms, for example, that occurred at the beginning of the last century. So for Stan to come in as Stan Lieber, and ultimately very quickly on to start using his pen name of Stan Lee, was probably a reaction to that. There were people prior to the U.S.'s entry into World War II who thought that Hitler was an okay guy. You know, before we found out everything he'd done and all the horrible things he'd done, there were people who actually supported him. And probably Stan knew these people. So he started out in comics at a time when that was still going on. He started out in what would become Marvel Comics. He actually first got his start in fandom. He got his start in fanzines, which I'll talk about a bit for this episode. He's got his start in fanzines, moved on into the professional world, ultimately created most, and had a hand in creating almost all of the great Marvel characters that we currently think of as iconic. Stan either wrote them, or he edited the books in which they appeared, or later he published the entire thing. And later than that, he was chairman of that board. He grew that company from what was an offshoot of a small-time publisher into something that is now a giant conglomerate. That is all on Stan Lee. He will be remembered for generations. He's going to be taught, if he's not already, at great universities. He is going to be lived on far, far longer than most of us. Now, personally, obviously, I didn't know him. I knew nothing about the man other than what I could read and see. But I can tell you this, Stan Lee, with the characters that he created, brought joy into the world. Stan Lee <clears throat> brought joy into the world at a time when the world always needs it. There are always dark, horrible places that you can go in the world. And with the characters he created, the adventures he wrote, the books that he wrote, and the books that he used and oversaw, he brought a ton of joy into the world. And so, as we uh, 
in the Fanish world, I might say, as the grand, Fandai Grand Master becomes one with the Force. Thank you, Stan Lee, for all the joy that you brought to me and millions, if not billions, of other people on this planet. <laughs>